Well, having understood the like and unlike fractions and other th things, let us now see that if k in case you are given any two fractions, how do you compare which of the fractions is greater? Okay. So let's first see if you have like fractions, how do you find out which one is greater? Now if you recall, like fractions are the fractions whose denominator is the same. So it could be something like 1 upon 11, 2 upon 11, 3 upon 11, 4 upon 11, okay, 5 upon 11, 6 upon 11, and maybe 10 upon 11. So in all these cases, what is happening is that the denominator is the same. Right? So in case of like fractions, what happens is that amongst any two fractions, let's say you take 2 upon 11 and 6 upon 11. Right? Amongst any two given fractions, the one whose numerator is greater, let's say amongst 2 and 6, you have 6, okay? Right? Is this correct? No, this is wrong. 2 upon 11 will be less than 6 upon 11. The one which has greater numerator is bigger. Okay? So let's say you were comparing 6 upon 11 and 3 upon 11. Now because these are like fractions, the denominators are same, we see which is the numerator which is greater. Because 6 is obviously greater than 3, so therefore 6 upon 11 has to be greater than 3. Now let's see a second case. A second case is a case where the numerator is same. Okay? So let's say you have a case where you have let's say 6 upon 7 and 6 upon 8. Right? Or let's say 5 upon 9 and 5 upon 11. Okay? Or let's say 3 upon 7, right? And 3 upon 11. Now, when you have a situation where the numerator is the same, then in that case, the fraction which is greater is the one whose denominator is less. So in this case, the denominator of 6 upon 7, 7 is less than 8, therefore 6 upon 7 has to be greater than 6 upon 8. And what is the reason for that? The reason for this is, if you divide any number, let's say whatever that number might be, let's take the 6. If you divide it by a particular number, let's say 7, right? If the number is small, obviously the result has to be greater. Whereas, if the number is big, the result will be smaller. Right? So, let's say if you divide this by 7, 0 0.08. 8 7s are 56. Right? 60 minus 56 will give you 4. 0. 5 times 35. So, we stop ourselves at two points decimal. It's 0.85. Now if you do the other one, 0 0.08756 4 5 40 
0.75 hence we note that the result is bigger when the denominator is small applying the same logic here in this case because the denominator is small in this one so therefore this fraction has to be bigger greater than the other one similarly because the denominator is small here therefore 3 upon 7 has to be greater than 3 upon 11 okay